the story. It's quarter to three. There's no one in the place except you and me. Make it one for my baby. One more for the road. Had your job once. I was good at it. I know. What do you want? I want to ask you some questions. The stunning visual environment. Where are we going? Home. It was a pleasure getting back to the world of Blade Runner again. The themes. From the cinematography to the script to working with Denis and Ridley, Roger, Harrison, and Ryan, I just feel really lucky just to be on the team. I never felt that much pressure on my shoulders, thinking that Ridley Scott will see this movie. I've never worked on a film with so many sets and different lighting patterns. Technically, it's quite challenging. They created this incredible world where there was a living, breathing universe. Designing this was like walking on a knife's edge, riding the line between the original film and what we're doing now. It's not just a replica of the first film. We're marrying the familiar with slightly divergent in order to give ourselves an identity. We're trying to keep the visual effects very reality-based and grounded. When I directed the original Blade Runner 35 years ago, I could never have imagined how iconic it would still be. I have massive respect for the world that Ridley Scott created. Blade Runner revolutionized the way we view science fiction. When I heard that Ridley was continuing the narrative, I was already invested. I already wanted to know what happened next. I think it's kind of fun to play a character 30 years later. I'm used to trying on old clothes. You know, happily, they still fit. <laughs> it's good to be home again. Who'd you bring? No one. I know you're here. This is impossible. I always told you, you're special. Your story isn't over yet. People should look at it and go, wow, that's a beautiful shot. How did they get it? making something special. It feels like a very grounded, realistic extension of the original. The first movie was always meant to be a standalone film, but there's always more to tell than the two hours would allow. <laughs>